He deserves it all. Magnify his name. Magnify his faithfulness. In Jesus' most wonderful name. I know the God of this great commission has been gracious to you. He has been merciful to you for these 27 years and still counting. For those with outstanding testimonies, please go behind the success door. Here are the global equitats, the officials there to document your testimonies. In Psalm 118 verse 23, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. You will thank God for the marvelous things He said to do in your life via His word coming your way. That will cause you to keep rejoicing all the days of your life. Lift your voice and magnify the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we magnify you, Lord, for your word coming our way today. That will cause us to keep rejoicing on every side. Lord, we say thank you for the great and mighty things you are said to do in our life today as your word come our way that will cause us to keep celebrating on a daily basis Lord we are here to say thank you be that exalted, be that glorified in Jesus mighty name once my Lord has blessed you with outstanding testimony go behind the success door of each other there to document your testimonies I appreciate them is faithful And oh my dears, I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God Sing up! Your voice, I love your voice. You have. 
kings bless his name father we magnify your name we worship you we give you all the praise blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of jesus we have worship please may be seated briefly praise the lord congratulations i hope you're excited to be here you will keep celebrating in jesus mighty name in a short while from now we'll go before the lord in thanksgiving prayers in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, the Bible says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We we'll thank God for all round peace, dominion, and victory. Salvation ministries has been enjoying since her inception. Rise your feet, lift your voice to heaven, and let's begin to appreciate him. Father, we thank you for giving your church salvation ministries all round victory. We thank you for peace. We thank you for dominion. 
We thank you for all that victory your church has been enjoying since her inception. Till date, Lord, we give you all the praise. You have been good. You have been faithful. You have been consistent. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the precious name of Jesus. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10, the Bible says, But by the grace of God, I am what I am. We thank God for the indescribable growth, acceptance, spread, multiplication, and dominion. I'm sorry, an advancement, salvation ministries has been enjoying these 27 years. Raise your voice and appreciate him. I am what I am by the grace of God. Lord, we thank you. Your grace is the reason behind our success, our accomplishment, our great feats for the indescribable growth, acceptance, spread, multiplication, and advancement of salvation ministries. Lord, we owe you all the thanks. We are here to say thank you for these 27 years. For your help. Blessed be your name. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. Jeremiah 30, 19. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. I will multiply them and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them and they shall not be small. We will thank God for his hand of grace and glory resting upon salvation ministries for our continuous multiplication and advancement with glorification. Raise your voice and appreciate him. Father, we thank you for your hand of grace and glory upon salvation ministries that has given birth to her continuous multiplication and advancement with glorification. Lord, we thank you for your good hand that has, let, that has raised us from one level of growth, multiplication, advancement, glorification to a higher level. Lord, we thank you, we thank you. Blessed be your name, in Jesus' mighty name. In Acts 5 verse 14, the Bible says, And believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women will thank God for greatly multiplying daily the number of abiding multitudes in salvation ministries both live and online in all her programs and services lift your voice and appreciate him father we thank you for adding multitude of men and women to salvation ministries multiplying us on every side both live and online in all our programs and services no one can come except you draw them Lord, we give you all the praise. Even tonight, you have brought the multitude. They have gathered again. Lord, we thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Psalm 100 verse 3, the Bible says, Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We specifically thank the Holy Spirit for the continuous expression of his person and ministry in salvation ministries, leading to the manifestation of diverse miracles, signs, and wonders these 27 years. Raise your voice and appreciate him. <laughs> Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence in our midst. You are the one behind the miracles, signs, and wonders. The mighty works in salvation ministries. We appreciate you. We recognize you. And with gratitude in our heart, we've come to say thank you. Blessed be your name. Thank you, mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Psalm 118, verse 23, the Bible says, This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We we'll thank God for landmark accomplishment he has made and is making possible in salvation ministries and all ministries generally connected to her in areas of mega projects and institutions. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Lord... It is your doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. We appreciate you for landmark accomplishments. You have made possible. And you keep making possible in salvation ministries. And all other ministries connected to her. In areas of mega projects and institutions. Father we thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the praise and glory. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, in Genesis 12 verse 2, the Bible says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. 
We'll thank God for making Salvation Ministries a center of attraction and excellence, thereby inspiring, blessing, and strengthening other ministries and individuals globally. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Oh, Father, we thank you for blessing Salvation Ministries, making her great. We thank you. Making her the center of attention and attraction. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you making, for making salvation the center of excellence, inspiring, blessing, strengthening other ministries and individuals. We return all the glory back to you. Blessed be your holy name. In the precious name of Jesus, we have given thanks. Once more, appreciate him for receiving our thanks. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, we give you glory and praise, we bless your name. In Jesus' precious name. May please be seated for a while. In this session, we'll continue in thanksgiving for God's faithfulness over his church salvation ministries and everyone genuinely connected. In the book of 2 Chronicles 16, verse 9, the Bible says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. We we'll thank God for granting David Biome and his family all round peace and victories over visible and invisible battles. Please rise to your feet, raise your voice, and begin to appreciate him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we appreciate you, mighty God. We bless your name, we exalt you, we adore you, we magnify you, precious Jesus. We thank you, mighty God, for granting your servant David Biome and his family all round peace and victories over visible and invisible battles we give you all the glory and praise we bless your name we exalt you we adore you we magnify you say i will fight for you and you will hold your peace lord we appreciate you mighty god for countless victories over visible and invisible battles we appreciate you for the all-round peace you have given to your servant david Yomir and his family we appreciate you we exalt you we give you all the glory be thou exalted thank you mighty god in jesus precious name in the book of First Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12, the Bible says, And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who had enabled me, for that he had counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. In the book of Psalm 21 verse 5, the Bible says, Glory is great in thy salvation, honor and majesty has thou laid upon him. We we'll thank God for the realization of the mandate given to David Biomir and his family for bestowing upon them his honor, his power, and his glory, and for making them experience indescribable exploits, favor, and global recognition these 27 years in ministry. Lord, we appreciate you. We thank you. Raise your voice and begin to appreciate him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you glory and praise. We bless your name. We thank you, mighty God, for causing your servant to be made to realize your mandate you have given to him to establish your kingdom on earth. We appreciate you, mighty God, for bestowing upon them honor, power, and glory. We appreciate you. We exalt you. We adore you. We thank you, mighty God. He said, and I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who had enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Lord, we appreciate you, mighty God, for your grace of election upon your servant, for all the indescribable exploits, for favor, global recognition. These 27 years, we appreciate you, we thank you, we give you all the glory in Jesus' precious name. In the book of Psalm 5, verse 12, the Bible says, For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, without compassing him as the shield. Acts chapter 4, verse 33, the Bible says, And with great grace was upon them all. We will thank God for the outpouring of his blessings upon all genuine worshippers in salvation ministries and for making us embodiments of his grace, which has turned us and everyone genuinely celebrating with salvation ministries to people of global impact and exploits. Raise your voice and begin to appreciate him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we appreciate you, mighty God, for your outpouring of blessing upon all genuine worshippers in the commission of salvation ministries and everyone genuinely celebrating with salvation ministries for making us a people of global impact and exploits. We appreciate you, we exalt you, we adore you, we magnify you, mighty God. See, and great grace was upon them all. We are appreciate you mighty God for making ministries connect to salvation ministries for making individuals connect to salvation ministries enjoy great grace we 
appreciate you. We exalt you. We adore you. We give you all the glory. Be thou exalted in Jesus' precious name. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9, the Bible says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing, now we shall spring forth. We will thank God for the great grace progressive growth and advancement indelible impact and his immeasurable blessings and glory salvation ministries David Biomia his family and all those genuine celebrating with salvation ministries has enjoyed and will enjoy in this new phase raise your voice and begin to appreciate him Father and Almighty name of Jesus, we appreciate you, mighty God. He said, I had not seen nor ear heard, nor did enter into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love we thank God for the great grace, progressive growth, for the advancement, indelible impact, immeasurable blessings, and glory, salvation ministries. David Biomia, his family, and those genuinely celebrating with salvation ministries has enjoyed and will continue to enjoy in this new phase. We appreciate you, we exalt you, we adore you. So I would do a new thing shall spring forth. We appreciate you, mighty God, for the new thing you are set to do. We give you glory in Jesus' precious name. In the book of Isaiah 54, verse 17, the Bible says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Will clear every evil programmed against salvation ministries, David Biomia's family, and everyone shall you celebrating with salvation ministries globally. Decree total exemption and preservation for all. Raise your voice, pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is written that no one from the against salvation ministry shall prosper, and everyone shall be celebrated with her, and every tongue that will rise against us in judgment, we shall condemn, we cleanse it on the mother's side, every program evil against salvation ministry, everyone shall be connected to her, seven women and his family, we come against it on the mother's side, when the people will cast you out, the blood of Jesus against the mother's side, we buy some with Jesus Christ, command your divine to sword, and put your taking, so God is your concern, and all salvation ministry, Family, everyone just said, Peter, we cause the matter because of blood. No, not us against you. We bind you, we cast you out. Decree all and peace in Jesus' precious name. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 2, the Bible said, The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. Psalm 91, verse 10 and verse 16. The Bible said, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. He said, With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Who will cast out the spirit of death and destruction from assessing salvation ministries. They will be his family and those who are celebrating with salvation ministries. Establish the covenant of long, healthy life for all. Raise your voice, declare in the mighty. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, say our covenant with death and with the Lord, our agreement with death shall not stand. Say the Lord's spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the Lord's sin and death. We cast the spirit of death and destruction from our senses and our communities. There will be a family. Everyone shall lose celebrating with our communities. We come against you for some death in the mighty name of Christ. We I do first of the time in the mother's size. We cast you far from getting access to salvation abilities. Tell my family, everyone celebrating. Genuinely, we cause you for some death. When the people will cast you out in the mighty mother's size. We cause the thing of the mother's size. When the people fall out spirit. No, no, do not against you. Anyone connected, devil has not construction. We rescue them now. We lose them by the Lord of Jesus. The clean longevity of life. For all in our mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name. Finally, in the book of Psalm 115, verse 14 and 15, the Bible said, The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. We we'll ask the Lord to keep increasing, advancing, and blessing salvation ministries. David Biomi and his family, and everyone generally celebrating with salvation ministries globally. Raise your voice and declare in our mighty name of Jesus. In our mighty name of Jesus Christ, say the Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. We ask the Lord to keep increasing, advancing, and blessing salvation ministries. David Biomi and his family, no matter size, everyone generally celebrating with her globally in our mighty name of Jesus. We ask mighty God to increase us more and more in our mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say our dominion shall be from sea to sea, from rivers even to the ends of the earth. We ask that you continue to increase your church salvation ministries, your seven doing family no matter size. Everyone just celebrating with salvation ministries globally. Increase us on every side in our mighty name of Jesus. Believe it that God has answered. Raise your voice and begin to appreciate him. He's faithful. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you glory and praise. We bless your name in Jesus' precious name. You may please be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. To continue with our celebration this season, let's make it welcome, especially Oakma International Academy infants for their special presentation. Salvation Ministries at 27. Hmm, why celebrate? Let me give you reasons, 27. Now, 27 reasons why we should be thankful to God for Salvation Ministries at 27. First, for the gift of an ever-abiding present Holy Spirit. The earth couldn't have known that the solutions to failure in this part of the world, as in 1995, was an emergence of the home of success. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for birthing the mandate of establishing your kingdom here on earth. Everything depends on leadership. Anything working in this commission is God, and anything not working is me, David Ibiome. How more responsible a leader can we have for a visionary per excellence? Lord, we say thank you. I wouldn't know what you and your friend are still doing here. You told me God told you to Please, why are we still in Lagos? By the side of every successful man is a Proverb 31 support system. Thank you, Lord, for Mama Peace, Ibiomia. You can't be going from Barika to Shomolu, Shomolu to Barika, and think you'll succeed. Sit down on your assignments. If we have flown further, it's because we fly on the wings of fathers, David Ibiomia. For the gift of a worldly spiritual father over David Ibiomia, this 27 years, Lord, we thank you. Value is not in the years of life, but in the life in the years. This 27 years has been years of life. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we say thank you. The seed of salvation ministries as the sand of the seashore. Multitude, multitude, Lord, we say thank you. There is no speech, no language where the voice of salvation ministries is not heard for the global spread. Lord, we say thank you. Violence is not heard within salvation ministries, nor wasting and nor destruction. Lord, we thank you for your protection. Out of us proceeds kings and governors. We are not only multiplied, but we are glorified. And you, Lord, are the glory right in the midst of us. Jehovah Shekinah glory. Thank you. For your peace you give unto us, you have made with us your covenant of peace. O oh, dear Prince of Peace, thank you, Lord. Through prosperity is salvation ministry spreading. Lord, we thank you. For every single time Satan came in as a flood, your spirit keeps lifting up a standard against him. Thank Jehovah and Roy. For daily you keep loading salvation ministry with benefits, Lord, we are thankful. You send your word to David Biome and the light is upon the entire salvation ministries, Lord, we thank you for a fresh word. It's only by your grace that salvation ministry is what she is today. Lord, we thank you for your grace. The path of salvation ministries is a shining light. It's shining brighter and brighter. That salvation ministries has never known a better past year in 27 years. Lord, we thank you. For thou, Lord, blesses your church and keeps her. You keep her for the blessings and keep all her blessings for her. Jesus, thank you. But God revealed them all unto salvation ministries by his spirit. For insight and revelation. Thank you, Lord. For salvation ministries knows her God. 
She is strong in Dutch exploits, educational exploits. A missionary school yet meets international standards as world best in this part of the world. Lord, we thank you for expansion in 2018. Thank you, Lord, for winning in 2019. Thank you, Lord, for greater glory in 2020. Thank you, Lord, for manifestation in 2021. Thank you, Lord. For possibilities in 2022, thank you, Lord. For supernatural favor in 2023, thank you, Lord. For divine help in 2024, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah, Ebenezer, for these 27 reasons and more. We thank you. Thank you, mighty God. Dear Salvation Ministries, we are wishing you a happy 27th anniversary from Akbar International Academy. Thank you. Lord, we thank you. Why don't you say it loud? Lord, we thank you. Praise the Lord. It's testimony time. Papa, in his latest book, Walking in the Supernatural, said, What makes great is grace. And grace is a function of humility. Grace will distinguish someone in this meeting in the name of Jesus. Let's welcome these following testifiers to come to the altar. Joshua Rogers, Charles Justice, Rufus Alonge, Bristol Lisa. As they come, listen to information. A very warm welcome to the 27th anniversary celebration service of Salvation Ministries. Please pay rapt attention to the following information. Kindly subscribe, follow, like, and share our links in all our social media handles to receive notifications of all our services and programs. Start your day with God by being a part of the online morning devotion from Monday to Saturday every week at 7 a.m. GMT plus one. Invite and share the link to your families and friends. Visit the Knowledge Center of the Commission or RE store at smhoestore.com to obtain insightful and faith-based materials of the Commission in hard copy and flash drive or subscribe to our monthly collections on MP3 and DVD. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents her online Bible school for global e-learners for the month of May 2024. It enables you to learn at your own time and schedule. For more details, visit swoby.org or call any of the numbers displayed on the screen. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information as displayed. Okma International Academy in Junior College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 JSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Interested applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must have attained the age of 10 by September 2024. For entrance examination, dates, venues, and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. Those desiring to build worship centers for the commission, call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed or send an email to missions at smhos.org for prototype design and all the information. For further inquiries about Salvation Ministries, house services and programs, visit smhos.org. To receive daily prayers, prophecies, and wisdom quotes for living, like, share, and follow David Ibiomie on Facebook, at David Ibiomie on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiomie, X at David Ibiomie. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Samuel Ibn Lisa Bresso. I'm here to testify on divine healing. A couple of months ago, I noticed an abnormal mass in my eye. And when we went for a checkup, the doctor said I was booked for surgery. I came for evangelism, believing that the surgery would go successful. And lo and behold, the surgery is successful. There's no more mass in my eye. And secondly, today's my birthday. I'm 14. I want to give God all the glory. She said she was having blurry eyes, but now she can see perfectly. Your name and testimony. My name is Rufus Salunga. I came in here sometime last month for our alumni program, and God's servant was our host. So while in the meeting, he cited me and was, where is your wife? And I said, we are no longer together. She had moved out of the house. 
And the second day, he invited my wife from Kaduna. And the funny thing, daddy didn't pray for us, but he gave us some DVD and books to read. But in the course of us staying together after one week, God healed our hearts. The marriage is restored. And by the grace of God, come May 1st, we'll be having our 20th celebration. But one thing that changed my life, all my life, I lost my dad at very early age. For the first time, I had somebody telling me, you are my son. I love you. I became here. Hallelujah. You are living restored in the name of Jesus. Your name and testimony. My name is Charles Justice. Last month, we held our crusade, but before them, I came to the church and I placed this flyer upon this altar and I told God that we should duplicate the same grace in the crusade. To my greatest surprise, everybody that came for the crusade was healed, souls were saved, and returned back all the glory to God. And secondly, my encounter with Papa in 2022 has changed my book ministry. I wrote just one book in 2022 and Papa prayed for the book. Today, I've written 14 books within two years. And 12 have been published. These books are online, read by those in Indian and United States and United Kingdom. I've come to return by the glory to God. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Joshua Rogers of Bulogugu. I'm a journalist. I came to give God glory for supernatural deliverance. On Thursday, I closed from work and I was driving home. Just at the gate of my house, about to go in, a car came just right behind me with men with guns inside. They came out, took me at gunpoint. The story was everywhere. But while we were going, I asked what the problem was. They didn't say anything. So I started praying to God that I wouldn't stay there up to today to celebrate the anniversary. More so, 13th of April is my wife's birthday. So we always celebrate together with the church anniversary. By 11 p.m. on Friday, just about 24 hours, though I was blindfolded, I was asked to leave with one other guy that was brought and that was how God saved me. I came to the return of the glory to God. Someone is living with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Can we rise to our feet and appreciate God for this wondrous works? Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We are grateful for your wondrous works in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. Studio. Salvation Ministries 27th Anniversary The Journey of Grace Chapter 1 The Genesis The story of Salvation Ministries which began in 1997 is a testament of the multifaceted grace and help of God from the establishment of the church to date God has authored every chapter, increasingly bringing the gospel to the unsaved around the globe and transforming the lives of people. I heard the servant of God that said God gave him a vision that is to establish the kingdom of God on this earth. So that means it's a good vision. That is what makes me to stay put and to serve God in that capacity. The days of little beginning of the church have their origin at Plot 35, Birabi Street, GRA Phase 1, Port Harcourt, Nigeria, with a little over 30 persons in attendance, including children. From there, the church moved to base to Plot 17, Birabi Street, GRA Phase 1, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. Now we are using tiles. When the church started, we were using palm kernel knots as tiles under the canopy. We were using benches, wood benches. Now you can see from wood benches to plastic chairs, from plastic chairs, now we are sitting on a comfortable chair. Those were the new innovations that has made Salvation is a, a home of success with a touch of excellence. Chapter 2 Expansion A revolutionary point in the chronicles of the church was the remarkable expansion from one focal point 
at Plot 17 BRB Street to an additional 14 satellite churches on the 13th February 2011, all running five services. In the history of church growth, which has never been experienced, opening 14 branches in one day, and all the 14 branches running five services with a full capacity. And since then, more than a thousand churches, both locally and foreign, have been created to accommodate the teeming and ever-growing population. I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 16 verse 18 Salvation Ministries was, in 2021, favored with the colossal worship property in Terrence, Alabama, in the United States of America. Truly, God is the builder of His church. Aimed at creating generations of a spiritual formidable army of believers, the Word of Life Bible Institute, now Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute, Swobi, with a pioneer drafting of 23 students, and has since then produced more than 110,000 transformed individuals across diverse nations, industries, and sectors. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the Institute proved adaptable and held online Bible school training classes. And in 2024, she began her first ever one-year full-time Bible school. God be praised to further strengthen the brotherly ties and the global family of Salvation Ministries. The fellowship system was created and it exists in three forms. The home fellowship, suited for individuals and families. The unique fellowship, suited for students. And the corporate fellowship, available in business locations and offices. Numbering nearly 20,000 in total. The fellowship provides spiritual reinforcement for members and also cater to the welfare, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. The home fellowship functioned as the church and the house and in just two months within the air, God's servant, David Bumier, could minister to every worshipper from every corner of the world. And this ministration, including those on the power of the Holy Communion, culminated in the renewal of hope and faith amongst worshippers and destroyed the deadly disease in the bodies of people. In 2023, the erstwhile youth morning devotion, now online morning devotion, hosted on streaming platforms, was introduced to enable individuals to start their day with an intense 30 minutes communion with God, a powerful combination of worship, praise, prayers, testimonies, and God's Word. This divine instruction has produced tyrant of testimonies and harvest of souls. Indeed, God is faithful. From what is happening now, we have online ministration, which is affecting the entire globe, and also online morning devotion, which has revived the youths across the world. The youths were not praying before, and God gave Papa that vision. And everybody is revived now across the entire globe, which is very clear because testimonies are coming out. My name is Nadine Uwayezu. I'm from Rwanda, Kigali, Rwanda. And um, ever since I joined the online morning devotion in July, I've experienced great breakthroughs. Um, my sister got a job, and then my uh, brother got a part-time job as well. I've been also praying for a miracle job. Um, and God came through specifically for the job that I prayed for, the location, the company, and I just signed the contract. So I'm really, really grateful for the love of God and His provision. In line with the divine mandate, the first citywide crusade was organized by Salvation Ministries in 2003 and was tagged Port Harcourt Miracle Crusade. It was a miracle fest indeed, as multitudes took in endlessly to be a part of the crusade and an infinite deluge of miracles was witnessed. This gave way to many more typical programs in cities and school campuses, and in every one of them, the outstanding power of God could be seen. In 2010, the Night of Glory, an epochal conduit for the miraculous, was birthed. The city of Port Harcourt experienced a deluge of God's glory that night as expectant crowd poured in to take their share of salvation, testimonies, and deliverance. Jesus was truly glorified. 
in a new turn of events, ordered by divine instruction, into glory later morphed into the five nights of glory, with each night being a multiplied build-up of the previous. Then, in 2022, a new chapter emerged, Glory Reign, with three sessions of the phenomenal event. The indescribable yet indisputable wave of glory can only leave one wondering what is to come. We do it every month. Healing, deliverance, and miracles. We got to that point. We now stopped. We went to another chapter. But I got miracle. We said we went to sleeping center. We got the problem. We said we stopped at seven. No space again. The stadium was full. Outside, full everywhere. Nowhere. Night of no. after that, the glory. The biggest program ever in Portugal was that night of glory. After that, five nights of no. When that chapter closed, it said glory lay. So that's how many of us have been able to find purpose, vision for our lives, but we have not opened the chapter of divine direction. Chapter 3 The Act of God In both indoor and outdoor events, the firm fact that God is the orchestra is increasingly evident through His mighty acts of all inspiring miracles and the salvation of souls. I've been urinating blood, like it's blood, not just some all blood. Once I start urinating, it's all blood. I went for scan. This is the, the last scan I went. I have other scan in my bag. So they said they, they are suspecting kidney stone, that my liver is inflamed, and that I also have ulcer. With faith, I believe, I kill in with faith. After the prayers and everything, I said, no, let me go back to the restroom. To my greatest surprise, I urinated. My urine is so white, not even not even a drop of blood. I became confused. I started shouting at the restroom. There, they were looking at me. I said, "You understand?" I said, "What?" Well, I rushed out, and then I was like, "Please, I need I need to give my testimony now." So we met Pastor David, and I told him a couple of my problems, and then he prayed for me, and he said, "It's gone." Just like this, you know, and not the way I'm saying, you know, it's more vigor in that. It's gone. There's somebody with a, with a spinal problem, you're healed. You're healed. You had a problem in your spine that was so painful, you're healed in the name of Jesus. In fact, uh, I did not tell at in that meeting that some of the doctors are suspecting cancer. In the spine, some of the x-rays taken at Lagos and then. And finally they said there is no cancer. Hallelujah. God is awesome. Chapter 4 Impact on Society An unrelenting commitment to impacting society, especially in the areas of education and mental transformation, social contribution and moral guidance. Her investments in education and mental transformation are especially shown through the establishment of the world-class educational institution. On the 21st of September 2011, Hakmar International Academy was established with the strong focus on instilling excellence and godly character in learners today. The Academy has produced innovative individuals and trend-setting leaders in various respects, some of whom have been awarded in recognition of their mental prowess. The Commission also has a 100% tuition-free primary school equipped with modern facilities called the Home of Success Academy and it is located at number 100 Agri Road, Old Portaco Township, River State, Nigeria. So I put myself into subjection. What I do every money I have, I have a percentage which no matter how I want, I must give that percentage. I put myself under a law so that my love will never go below that percentage. In terms of social contribution, the church has donated relief items to the vulnerable population. Building a 100-room black female hostel in Ignatius Algeria University, Port Harcourt. Engaged in the medical outreaches and prison visits, constructed roads and provided other infrastructure, including recently donated 500 kVA transformer to a Libam community in Port Harcourt. I was sick I, to the point of death. He took me to the hospital. They did everything, operated me. 
everything, paid everything, fed me. I didn't have any challenge. My family did not know where I was. He kept me separate. The church is a good place. It's a good church. Through life-transforming books and messages and soul-winning activities, Salvation Ministries is renowned for being a place where people's lives and destinies take an upward turn. Chapter 5 The Journey Ahead With God taking the lead, progress is certain. In line with the mandate to establish the Kingdom of God here on earth, Salvation Ministries commissioned her new international headquarters at Igruta, Port Harcourt, Nigeria and sits as a gargantuan structure designed as an architectural portrayal of the hand of God. The colossal cathedral has five fingers, each holding two calories, eight stories and nine blocks for administrative functions. It gratefully sits on a 55,000 square meter stretch of land, an equivalent of eight soccer fields. Amongst other notable personalities, the cathedral has received prophetic visits from Pastor E. A. Adeboe and Bishop David Oyedepo to further her educational contributions to the society. The church also acquired over 200 hectares of landed property for the establishment of her university. Chapter 6 Our Secret Compass Hebrews chapter 3 verse 4 For every house is built by some man, but he that builded all things is God. God is undoubtedly the owner and the builder of his church salvation ministries and for 27 years he has been excellently and meticulously authoring the story of the church i want to wish salvation ministries happy 27th anniversary and many more exceptional years amazing years ahead everything about the church i love it that's why I am here from that day till now, we are here. Everything worked perfectly well. The servant of God is a mentor, is a coach, is a teacher, is an instructor. Salvation is known by giving glory to God at every given point. And we praise God. And the moment we give glory to God for the least miracle, you see the greatest happen. There is no manner of miracle that does not happen in salvation ministries by giving glory to God. That has been our tradition. That has been our secret. I have never attributed anything here to myself. All the glory must be to the Lord for He is worthy of our prayer. Hey, no man on earth should give glory to himself. I hope the glory must be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's consciously once again appreciate the most high God for the things our eyes have seen. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. We magnify your name, be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Thank you, precious Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. What the songwriter wrote is what we have seen with our eyes. He said, my eyes have seen, my ears have heard, and our mouths are testifying of the goodness of God. You will testify in the name of Jesus. The queen used to have two birthdays, one in April 
and one in June. The king presently has two birthdays, one in June and one in November. I also have two birthdays, one in June and the 13th of April. If today is your birthday also, jam us together for your Lord is worthy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Papa said we will, we will celebrate. Since we will celebrate, we have to kin to your anniversary and also add to our birthday. So it's your birthday too. Hallelujah. In our midst this evening to celebrate the 27 years, let's also recognize the presence of Bishop Joseph Ibohime of the Pesitas Christian Assembly, Port Harcourt. Bishop Daniel Onoa of Oasis of Love Chapel, International, Port Harcourt. Pastor Korode Kumaya, Pastor KK of the Master's Place International. Bishop Doctor and Pastor Mrs. Ian Odusin of Avila Goodness Ministries, River State. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Uloma Soni Ariye Kuki of Live Gate Power Ministries, Port Harcourt. Bishop and Pastor Mrs. Victor Ozosiki of Kingdom Life Gospel Church, National Port Harcourt. Bishop Alfred Femi Martins of Higher Grounds Family Church, Port Harcourt. Pastor Minaibi Dagogo Jack is the PFN Chairman, River State. Bishop Doctor and Reverend Mrs. Marvin Jack of Gospel Free International Ministries, Port Harcourt. Bishop Maxwell Gold in Egbe of Honor Christian Assembly, Asaba Delta State. Please just wish that we can see you. Pastor Biondu Fatu Yimbo of the Commonwealth Zion Assembly, Koza Abuja. Apostle Abama Kosi of Word of Life Bible Church, Lume Togo. Reverend and Reverend Mrs. Emeka Eze of the Assembly of God, Abuja. Bishop Wisdom Erabo of Answers Assembly, Wari Delta State. Pastor Joseph Ajibadi of the Living Faith Church, Port Harcourt. Pastor Israel Ulushore of Living, Living Light Church International, Lekki, Lagos. Pastor Richard Apia of Water of Life Ministries, Accra, Ghana. Apostle Wisdom Akin Yosoye, Triumphant People International Ministries, Yenaguam. Hallelujah. Pastor Akin Rotunwa, Christ, for purpose of time, please permit me. Papa's classmate will just recognize you together so that time will permit us. So all Papa's classmates are here on his behalf. We welcome you for, this, for coming to this program. God will bless you. Praise the Lord. But the list is very long. Also in our midst this evening, we also have Pastor Henry Amadi of Lighthouse Ministries, Port Harcourt. Apostle Blessing Banigo of Jesus Evangelism Power Mission. Pastor Chubweze Okeze of Chapel of Answers Ministries, Ababia State. Pastor Oku Elijah Sam of Fulfillment Ministries, Port Harcourt. Pastor Agape Celestine of Living Act Covenant Ministries, Port Harcourt. Pastor Dave Sonny of Champions International, Champion Free International Port Harcourt. Pastor Joshua Abioye of City Leaders International Church Port Harcourt. Pastor Eddie Sekibo of Magnificent Grace Ministries Port Harcourt. And other men and women of God on his behalf, please, you are welcome. Those of you at the headquarters and the branches, those of you who can open online on his behalf, you are especially welcome. And those who are connecting for the very first time, the God of heaven will bless you. Members, you are also, also appreciated for coming. God will bless you. Praise the Lord. The Bible said he has built us a synagogue and he loves our nation. When you build a church for God, it's a sign that you love God. So acknowledging and rewarding people who have built churches is not new. For the purpose of building church, Christ had to break the rule to pray for a person who had built a church. So this evening, we're going to welcome people who have built churches. I don't know who give up at the award. I'll just call him. He will come. Mama will come. I don't know how we do it, but I'll just welcome him. Let's welcome our father, Papa, Pastor David Ibiomie. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mama, Pastor P. Ibiomie. We are giving them a word for just the one, for just one, but they've built several. So the one we are giving for them, for Papa is the one, one of the ones he built in Portacot. Then Mama for one of the ones she built in Aquaibom State. If you want to give them for the one they have built, we will not live here today. So just know, just for the purpose of today. Dikin Ado Jonah Omaji, Benue State. Dikin Benibo Bricks, River State, as the places they built churches. Just come out as I call your name, just come to the altar. 
Mr. Ostelaye Dennis Ujuka, he also built in River State. <laughs> Chinagorum Peace, River State. Dr. Robert Daniel Oyanyi, Abia State. Mrs. Kelechi Onwuchekwa, Imo State. Mr. John Chukudim, Ike, Anambra State. Please just come out once I call your name. Dr. Eze Oduwa, River State. Mrs. Frida Ruth Bruce Bennett, FCT Abuja. Mr. Kosile Oluwamuyiwa Nelson, a beauty church in River State, please come out. Mark Ederi Peace Isena, Bayasa State. Dr. Alex Tesufa Dumbo, Bayasa State. Mr. Richard Akinaka, Bayasa State. And the last but not the least, Pastor Diary Akubo, River State, please come forward. Thereafter, we will now recognize. They just. Hallelujah. Please let me see. There's no way I will give myself an award. My own is just to build. Amen. We keep building as God keeps us alive. So. My own, they just called my name. I told them, I can't build one church. I just be building and building. And then let others be taking their award. But God to give me my own award. God bless every one of you that built. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We also have two other categories. Ninth of awards. Don't worry, next year you'll be here. This category is for members who have built branches. So we have members of Salvation Ministries Church. Woji Barajan Branch, please. Your pastor and a few members just step forward. Members of Salvation Mrs. Church, Egbelu, Pastor, and a few members, please come forward. Members of Salvation Ministry Church at the Babiri Bayasa State, please, Pastor and members, just a few members, come forward. Members of Salvation Ministry Church, Urata, Imo State, the Pastor and members, just come forward. Papa, please, once again.
Hallelujah. We have a third category for consistency. Elder Vincent Iyama. Violet. Nietzsche Chinwo. And Tamuno Minabo Shedra. Please just come I'll, forward. I will help him at this point. I will walk to them. Where are they sitting? I will walk to them because they may not be able to move. These three persons have been in this church, this church. They are the oldest members of this church by age. Not first to come, but as my, they came as old people and they've been with us since this church started and they are still here through today. So we recognize them today. They may not be able to walk. Where's mama? Where is she? I would, I'll have to go to where they are and give them their awards. Give us a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's an award which the person who will get it will be surprised, may shed tears of joy. Let me just say this. Some years back, a young man, I, was, I heard the pastor speaking, they said, as a mechanic in Port Harcourt, who brings change? I said, in this town? I said, call me that mechanic, let me see him. I said, mechanics are not known for honesty. How can a mechanic say, whatever you give to him, he will never take your money? I said, I don't know. I don't think it's true. I said, call him. And everybody testified that that is his nature. If you give him any money, he will bring you back the least change. And I talked to him. I said, you're a mechanic? How much do you make in a month? He said, so some amount. I said, okay, resign from being a mechanic. Come and be doing simple messengers work for us, buy everything for us since you have integrity. And we have tested him everywhere. He has stood on integrity impeccably. He has seen billions pass through his hands. Has never taken a dime. Never stolen where every other person stole. He was, he was exempted. When others with him stole, he refused to steal. It's not that he's educated, he's a junior staff. But I said, it is not when we reward pastors we should leave those who are also honest. He doesn't have any idea. He doesn't even know. Yesterday, or day first, I saw him. I said, keep whatever it is you're doing. So he'll be shocked, even as I'm talking. Then I decided, I said, no. 
if this man has been dishonest for these years, let's reward him in this anniversary. <laughs> Amen. So, he's living in a rented house somewhere because he's a very junior staff. So, we decided as a commission to buy him a four bedroom bungalow. <laughs> I want Henry and Moselle to come out. You can show the picture of the house. Bring it. That's the house. It's a four bedroom bungalow. The documents are all here, signed. Whatever made you, keep it up. This is just the beginning. God bless you. Faithfulness rewards. Give Jesus a big hand.
with our hands to heaven and just worship the king of all kings from the depth of our heart let's exalt him no one is like him forever is on the throne great is his faithfulness to us open your mouth and just tell him you love him no one is like him forever is on the throne worthy to be glorified and worthy to be exalted blessed be your name forever in Jesus mighty name father speak to us to your word and our ears open to hear something from you that will permanently transform us and make us better we vow to give you every glory in Jesus mighty name let someone say you may be seated with a hand to Jesus While preparing for the anniversary, I asked God, I said, what do I have to preach? I didn't want to preach just a fantastic message in quote. In deep meditation, he spoke to me in a very place where I know when he speaks. He said, preach love. That is your greatest secret. I say love for you, say no, this time love for people. So I began to gather materials to prepare. So it's a message I'm going to preach what I leave. He said, That's the message for the anniversary. He gave me the topic. And I'm here to share it with you. We we'll try to make it brief though today Saturday so men of God who can go for their Sunday services. Everybody knows about love. In fact, people talk about love every day. But we'll find out if truly we understand what love is. In Mark Gospel. Chapter 12, Jesus speaking said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. The second is like unto it, verse 31, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Love him with everything. And then love your neighbor as yourself. The message is, what is our true identity? What is our true identity. How will the world know us? In John 13, 34, 35, Jesus said, a new commandment I give unto you, a new one, that you love one another as I've loved you. That ye also love one another. By this all men shall know that ye are my disciples if you love one another. Shout hallelujah. So if we don't love one another, we are not Christians. It's not my definition. He said, if you love one another, then you are a Christian. You are not a Christian because you are baptized. You are not a Christian because you can speak in tongues. He said, you are a Christian only when you love one another. He said, you are not my disciples if you are not a person that loves others. It is only when we work in love that the world will know us as Christians. His eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has the end of the heart of men what God has prepared for lovers of God. I pray somebody who have understanding today will change your life forever. Amen. Love is a person. And that person is God himself. 1 John 4, 8. It said, God is love. Many mistake it saying, I belong to a church. I am baptized, therefore I'm a genuine Christian. No, God said, no, that's not it. That you belong to a church does not make you a Christian. 1 John 3, 14 and 15. 
We know that we are passed from dead unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abided in death. Not talking about physical death, but spiritual death. Who so hated his brother is a liar, murderer. And you know that no murderer had what? Eternal life abiding in him. So even if you are born again and you live in hatred, you are off. In 1 John 4, 16 and 17, 2021. And we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God and God in him. So when you begin to walk in love, you don't struggle for things to happen. Yeah, and so our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the door of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world, 2021. If a man say, I love God, shall we read it together so that it will really enter us? Want to go? If a man say, I love God and hated his brother, he's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? Question mark. And this commandment have we from him that he who loveth God, loveth his brother also. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hear this and hear me well. The love of God in our heart is the true evidence that we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1.13 Everyone can love. In Romans 5, 5, he said, Hope make it not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. So everybody has it already. Now God is saying, give that love expression. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, if you are a child of God, you already have it in your heart, but give it expression. Shout hallelujah. In the Old Testament, God wrote the Ten Commandments on a table. But now he wants the love of God in our hearts. Because the Holy Ghost shares this in our heart. True love is from the heart. The most powerful force in the universe is love. Love is a universal language accepted in every nation. There is no nation where love will not break through. Life story a beggar, United Kingdom, in London precisely, never smiles. This beggar has never laughed. So people are wondering why he's always frowning. Every body person will keep wondering why he doesn't laugh. Then the day came, a Christian stooped low and smiled with him and said, How are you? For the first time, they saw him laugh. So everybody pastor was wondering what made this beggar to laugh. So they asked the Christian, what did you do for this man to laugh? Then the person turned and said, love is a universal language. You only drop money without asking him how. So I asked him, how are you? So for the first time, he saw somebody show love. So he opened his teeth and I introduced Christ to him. Love is a universal language. There is nowhere you go where love will not penetrate. It can break barriers that hard prayers of spiritual warfare can break. Are you getting what I'm talking about? What love can do? 70 days fasting may not do it. In 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 13. And now abide faith, hope, and love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. I pray today as you walk in this understanding of God's word. There's nothing that will stop you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God's love shows us how much value he placed on us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He has so much value. You have so much great value to God that he gave his best to you. John 3, 16. You have great value to God. To love someone is to place high value on that person. Anyone you say I love, you are saying I place high value on you. For God so loved the world, he gave his best. So when you look at someone say I love you, you are saying I place high value on you. I pray you have understanding. 
To love someone is to dethrone self and elevate the other person. Now, one question each of us should ask is, why do I love this person? <laughs> Did you hear me at all? As a one question, each of us should ask, why do I love what? This person. If it is the good looks, the talents, the mutual interest, all will not last. If you love the person because the person has a very fantastic look, he's so tall, it will not last. Oh, he speaks sound, it will not last. I ask you, why do you love who you love? Now I'll be taking proofs of genuine love for people. These are the proofs. If they are not there, forget it. You've not started. Proofs. Are you hearing me? One of my domestic staff before service we were together was trying to bring my clothes and I said to him, God told me to teach your love. He said, Daddy, can I tell you something? He said, everybody around you can preach love from what they have read. But when you talk love, it enters our spirit because you are love. He said, don't preach love. You, you are love. He said, you don't preach it. Others can preach from books they read. But you're only one qualified for that topic. He was just joking with me before service. I'm not preaching love, I live love. And God said to me, preach this topic. Are you getting me? You may fast more than me, but you may not get my kind of result. Many preach love God. They only preach love people. Many love God, but don't love people. And God said, if you say you love me, how can you say you love me when you don't love the person you see? We take that part away. How can I think of a mechanic to give him an award? Mechanic. No one can give big people. I was the one that said this man should be awarded. Should be rewarded. That's a junior staff. The highest they will do, they just say, well done. Thank you for being faithful. And the man will die in one room in one water side. Proofs of genuine love for people. These are the proofs. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4 to 8, I'm going to read the Amplified Classic because the King James said charity. We are going to dissect from there. Love endures long and is patient and kind. Take note of the words. Love never is envious nor boils over with jealousy. It's not boastful or vainglorious. Does not display itself hotly. You read verse 5. So do not be on, not only me. Verse 5. It does not rejoice in injustice and righteousness, but rejoices when right and truth prevail. Verse 7. Finally, verse 8 says, Love never fails. I decree. As you walk in love, you will never fail. Amen. Never face out or becomes obsolete or comes to an end. As for prophecy, the gift of interpreting the divine will and purpose all will be fulfilled and pass away. As for tongues, they will be destroyed and cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. It will lose its value and be superseded by truth. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. What are the proofs? Proofs of genuine love for people, number one, 
It takes no account of a suffered wrong. Love takes no account of a suffered wrong from verse 5 of that scripture. Verse 5 where we read. This verse, verse 5, contains love's thermometer. It contains what? You know, love's thermometer is there. If you are touchy, fretful and resentful, always taking account of evil done to you, then you don't understand love. Every small thing you keep with, you don't understand love. Are you, so just look at yourself, whether you fall into any of the categories. Number two. Love is a peacemaker. Love is what? A man called David, King Saul tried to kill him, yet he wouldn't harm Saul even when he had opportunities. If he saw from God's word, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. First Chronicles 16 22 and Psalm 105, verse 15. Because David saw it, he refused to touch Saul as God's anointed. 1 Peter 4, 8. And above all things, have fervent love amongst yourselves. Did you hear that? Fervent charity. Divine love is a peacemaker. Hebrews 12, 14. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man can see God, the Lord. If you know what love is, even when there is supposed to be a crisis, you make peace. Are you getting me? You not go and inflame the environment. I pray somebody will have understanding. In the precious name of Jesus. Number three, proof. True love always wants to give. Love wants to contribute to another needs. For God so loved the world. What did he do? He gave. So true love results in investment of time, effort, and even finances in another. Struggling to give is an indication you don't understand love. <laughs> Hello. Struggling to what? Listen. So, so, have you ever struggled to give? Many struggle to give. If they want to give, they give the leftover. If it's closed, it's what they are not wearing. That you don't understand love. You don't understand what? When you understand love, you you will not. I've never stayed in any hotel, and my pastor's going with me staying in another hotel. They stay in the same hotel with me. Anywhere in the world. Let the hotel be eight star. They will stay in that eight star. They may not stay in the same kind of room with me, but the same hotel they will stay with me. I will not stay in a five-star hotel and any pastor going to travel with me stay in a three-star hotel. They will stay in that five-star hotel. They may not stay in my kind of room. Understand what I'm saying? But they must stay in that hotel. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you're so, you, you can't be high up there. Everybody following you is low. You'll be crisis. Are you getting what I'm talking? No senior pastor working with me who has not traveled, not one country, countries. You saw us giving them houses. So I'm not preaching it. If you're struggling to give, some of you struggle to give their spouse, a wife you marry, you are struggling to give her something, your own wife, you have a problem. She bear your name, drop her father's name to your name, you are struggling to give her something. She gave you her name, sold her name to you, this is something. You are now struggling you are not struggling to... There are men who struggle. They, they, they say, no, no. Even women to struggle to give their husbands. It's both sides. You don't understand. No. Hmm? <laughs> Love gives with ease. With what? Yes. I'll buy some things. My wife will frown. I say, why are they frown now? Which way I did that? Okay, sorry. Even if I make a mistake, you don't like I'm sorry. 
She'll frown. He said, you bought this bag before. Why are you buying it again? I said, sorry now. Don't bother. I'm sorry. <laughs> One day I got angry. I said, if you frown like this, I'm not going to buy it again. No? <laughs> but I'll see by. Are you going to say that? Love. Young men are with me. They come to my room. I say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven suits. Can I? These are not, they are not called so suits. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me 500 suits when I turned 60. And I gave all the 500 out. One that came, I used to wear LV shoes. A young man used to buy them for me. And I had 100 and something pairs of LV shoes. And then I used to wear 44. Then my leg somehow was paining me. And I began to wear 45. So I said, carry all these LV shoes, 44, all. These are not cheap shoes. I said, carry all. Some carry three, some carry two, some carry one, some carry another. Everybody was wearing, I was happy. One day I came to church, I saw a young man from head to toe. I saw him in church, he was wearing very dirty slippers, so I said, follow me. So I wore him from his head to toe. So the following service, he sat in front and crossed his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I felt good that they was wearing everything. <laughs> Pastors with me will come one day. I'll give them watches. Very expensive watches. One day, one, I gave one. I didn't know the price. I gave him my, and I saw it was $59,000. I said, you have to give me back. He said, Papa, you don't give me. Forget that. <laughs> he says, it's too late. You have already given me. Don't worry yourself. If you're struggling to give, you don't understand those who understand love don't struggle to give. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Number four. Love is patient. Love is what? Now, if you look at verse four of that scripture, First Corinthians 13, look at it. Love endures long and is what? And kind. You must accept the imperfection of others. Everyone is in a process. Do you hear me? You didn't get to where you are overnight. Love will make you be patient with people. Are you getting what I'm saying? Oh, most of them who are working with me, they came very shrewd. I was patient with them. They make mistake. I say, I, say, I didn't say because maybe say get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. No, today some of them we are seen as stars. They were not like that. They came very shrewd. It's a love endures long, and it's what patient. Even as married people, the reason why people are divorcing is lack of patience. Your wife gave you food, and she made mistake. Calm down. If the salt was too much, she was trying to show you love. So that time she just thought of you, then she packed plenty of salt and put it aside. <laughs> Sit like that. Say, my wife, this salt was too much. Oh, next time, be patient with her. If there was no salt, in process of talking to you, love made that she forgot to post salt. See that. Uh, be patient with your husband to be patient. You are not where you are overnight. Love. I read the story of uh, Florence Nightingale. She was a nurse. This woman was from a wealthy family. In 1845, her family was against her becoming a nurse. In 1854, she went to Turkey from Britain to help wounded soldiers from the Crimea War. When she got to the hospital, the doctors rejected her. Instead of giving her a job, they asked her to scrub the floor and clean blood on the floor. She was very patient. She had something to offer. When the casualties, because she went with some of her friends, who went with her, her to Turkey. When the casualties were much and they needed nurses, they now asked them to walk at that point. And she was able to show her skills. Her lifestyle changed everything about the nursing profession. She was so sensitive to patients she cared for patients. It led to the founding of Red Cross. 
Be patient with people. Do what? When you are impatient, you easily lose your temper. Patience is entering a dialogue to understand the other person's thoughts, feelings, and behavior. Be patient. Be what? Be patient. With people. Be what? Even with your children, be patient. Even with a friend of yours, be patient. Because love is patient. You endure. It's not going to be... The reason why married people can't endure is because they are not patient. Oh, 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 this person, I can't take it. Be patient. You didn't get to where you are overnight. It's a process. These are the proofs of love. Shout hallelujah. Number five. In case you don't have any of them, go ahead and work on yourself. Love forgives. Love does what? Forgives. Turn with me to Ephesians 4.32. Shall we read 432 together? Want to go? And be a kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake had forgiven you. God's kind of law forgives and forgets. So now forgive like God. Say it one more time. To say, I have forgiven you, but I, I can't forget. You are not forgiven. No, some of us will say, I have forgiven you, but the thing you did to me, there's no way I can forget. You have not forgiven. You have not forgiven. You don't understand love. God said, I, even I, am the, I'm he that brought out your transgressions for my name's sake, and I will not remember thy sins. Isaiah 325. Don't allow your flesh to rule you. Be ruled by the word of God. He said, but put it on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. Romans 13, 14, to fulfill the laws thereof. The flesh will struggle, but be ruled by the word of God. Husbands and wives, learn to forgive. Learn to what? Forgiveness does not hold on to grudges. Love does not keep records of wrongs and grudges. Your diary is for a vent, not to keep when your wife called you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Colossians 3 13. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do what? Even if two of you quarrel, Paul and Peter had a sharp contention of quarreling, it didn't affect the gospel. They forgive each other. If it's today, they will go on social media. Let me say this. Love covers with silence. I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Love what? Cover others with love and correct also with love. It's not forgiving him, but what he did to you, I've told everybody. That's not love. Those who love, they cover with what? Silence. What did happen? What happened? You keep quiet. Forget it. We have made peace. But come, I will tell you, this guy, don't mind what he's preaching. Don't mind him. It's, we're in the same office, but it's very useless. Love covers with silence. Are you getting me? There are people who have hurt me, but you will hear it from my mouth. One day, somebody abused me, abused me. Oh, my God. It remained for him to say that even the anointing is fake. He abused me. And, you know, God will test whether this thing you're preaching is real. And I've just read a book by uh, Kenneth Hagin. I just read it. And after he abused me, somebody came and told me all the things he said. Then it didn't take two hours. He now called me. He said, Papa. I said, What is it? He said, Landlord, just give me notice to quit. <laughs> I need your help. And they just told me a few minutes ago all it is he said. So he said, I said, Deal with him now. I think Landlord has given him. 
I think landlord says you should, should park. I said, shut up, I understand law. I called, I said, look under, there's money. That time I've not this level. That's the level where you still keep money on that bed. <laughs> no, I can't keep money on that bed, amen. I said, look, there's some money that is at the gate. They said, give it to him to pay his rent. Till today, he has been dodging me. It's him that does not have the conscience now to face me. Because he knew I had. He knew I heard the things he said. Please! Don't divorce and tell everybody what happened. That is madness. Love does not talk. You have children. If you say their mother is a thief, who are you abusing? Your children. You have gotten your part. Keep quiet. Love covers with silence. Are you hearing me? You have left a ministry. Don't go talking everywhere. They paid you money when you were there. Now you have left. You are beginning to talk. Everything there is bad. One way to pay you salary. Why, didn't, why do you take the salary? You are living. Live quietly. Go your way. It's not by force. It's not what? Yes. You know why? Unforgiveness is a hindrance to faith and prayer. Unforgiveness can also affect your health. If you look at Mark 11, 23, 24, 25, faith, 24, 23, prayer, 24, then he said, if you don't forgive in 25, forget, the two will not work. <laughs> That's why there are so many faith giants who are not getting results because faith worked by love. Is that true? And there's a part of forgiveness, you should forgive yourself too. Many forgive people, they don't forgive themselves. Paul said one thing, he said, one thing I do, forgetting the mistakes I've made. Paraphrases Philippians 3.13. He said, I also forgive myself. I also did what? Paul did terrible things. He wouldn't have been able to preach if he didn't forgive himself. Paul did so much terrible things. But he said, I forgive myself also. One thing I do, I had to let go the past of the mistakes I've made. I reach for towards the mark of the high corner of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 and 14. I pray today the memory of everything tormenting you will go in the name of Jesus. <laughs> it's hard to forgive. For, many of us will forgive people but don't forgive ourselves. Every day you stay in one small corner, put your hand on your jaw. Like one son says, yellow city for corner, put your hand for jaw. <laughs> you all know the money, palava. You all know the problem, palava. He said, how are you? Bobo. You start crying. So why are you crying? Do you, do you know four years ago, four years ago, Paul killed people and said, I wrong no man. Paul. So I cried, I said, is that wrong? <laughs> is that wrong? I forget my, I bet people leave me alone. That's what it was. Do you know widows were looking at Paul when he was preaching? Just imagine the church he went to. The widows were looking at it's not this man that killed people. So if he said to his yard, are you not the man who killed my husband? <laughs> Paul would just do as if he did not hear. He said, for, 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 forget it, I bet. So if you are Paul, he won't preach again. Because everywhere Paul went, there's no way one widow would not look at him and say, so this is my who came my is preaching. Forgive yourself also. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. 1 John 3, 13, 18 to 21. 1 John 3, 18 to 21. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. I said 18. Yes. My religion, let us not love what? In word, not in tongue, but in deed and in truth. 21 to 19. And herein we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. Quickly. 20. If, for if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our hearts and knoweth all things. 21 finally. Beloved, if our hearts condemn us not, then have we confidence towards God. Forgive yourself for goodness sake. Stop condemning yourself. When you get home, you can put Luke 17, 3 to 4. And then Matthew 18, 21, 22, for time's sake. Number six. True love anticipates the need of others. 
True love anticipates what? The need of others. He said, I know you have need of these things, Matthew 6, 32. But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and that it shall be added unto you. Ephesians 6, 8. Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. You know what I mean? Love is not self-seeking. You should know the need of other people. Always consider other people, not only yourself. So I hear. Did you hear me? Because whatever you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Love is not selfish. Love is not what? Do you go somewhere and you like them to give you food early? Do you, do you like that? Then when people come, give them food early. Do you like you have to beg before somebody gives to you? Do you like that kind of life? Then don't wait for people to beg before you give. You say, he didn't tell me he's hungry. Should he tell you when he's hungry? When he has stayed in your house for five hours? Love anticipates the need of what? Others. They know that this person needs this thing. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Are you hearing me? They anticipate the need of others. You know when this person needs something. Are you getting me? You don't wait. Can you see your wife with a cloth torn and you wait for her to tell you, buy me clothes? You should know that you need new clothes. They anticipate the need of others. Every man walks in love without use his eyes to say, this person needs this thing now. I, all my domestic staff, I'm not making noise. All my domestic staff use cars. Not one is trekking. The only one trekking I say, I'll buy you a car. Because how can you be serving me at my level and be trekking? Even if you clean my shoes, you have a car. I, you know why? I can call you anytime to come. Are you going to use which motor to come? If I say come by, by 11 o'clock, you should leave your house and come. True? So what are you going to do? Should they beg me now? Before I not give them cars? No. Love anticipate the need of others. I, I can look at my, the pastors walking with me with my eyes and I know that they need something. I said, no, this guy, at this point of life, he should have his own house. You see a man with seven children staying in a three-bedroom flat. Does he need to beg you? If God has blessed the ministry, get him a house. Seven children with his own wife. So where would they stay? So one visitor, visitor's room. So four people plus three. Him and his wife, they did many children. If you know house cannot contain anymore. True? Love anticipate what? The need for others. You know when somebody needs Something. They don't need to tell you, you know. Don't you know? You. You say you love. <laughs> and they say, God bless you. Thank you. That kind of blessing, God will bless I say, love, anticipate the need of others. You know when somebody needs something. Say here. Somebody in church is moving with a torn shoe. You know he needs a shoe. You don't need him to come and meet you say, I need shoe. From the shoe you have seen, you know that you should give him one of your shoes. Are you getting what I'm talking about? That's love. That's what? It's not selfish. It's not what? And whatever you make happen for all, that's going to make happen for you. So here. Number seven. True love does not fear. True love does not what? Fear. Fear is distrust and lack of confidence. In 1 John 4, 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casted out what? Fear. Because fear had torment. He that feared is not made perfect in love. Shout hallelujah. Something is missing when fear is present. There's nothing to fear if that relationship is built on the word of God. If there's fear, then it's not built on the word of God. If two of you are related on the word of God, there's nothing to fear. 
Love does not entertain fear. Is that here? I'm trying to rush. Number eight, true love is not envious. True love is not what? True love is not envious. <laughs> In verse 4 of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, love endures long and is patient and kind. Love never is envious. Is that your Bible? Hmm? Do we envy people? Yes. Don't deceive yourself. It's going to come on. Does the progress of someone affect you negatively? You don't understand love. This is how you know. <laughs> Has anybody shared testimony and he decided you? Is it not? Not, 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 not this one. I'm doing a testimony. You don't understand love. <laughs> hmm? So I, I just got a house. I just built a house. It will fall. <laughs> you don't understand love. You don't envy no one. You know why? Romans 12, 15 says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Rejoice with them that do what? So if somebody's excited, Oh, I just bought a car. Rejoice! You two buy your own very soon. Oh, I just built a house. Rejoice! You build your own very soon. You may not have a house today, but just rejoice with the person. Oh, do you know? They gave me so so thing. Rejoice! You get your own soon. Love does not envy. There are people who envy is their problem. Hey, I, I, I just got married. Not let marriage be the thing. As if they, they quarrel you. They're excited and rejoice, but thank God for getting married. Then God will give your own husband. I just bought a card. Look at this card they gave to me. Do you know it's a gift? That, do you know that guy is a thief? <laughs> you didn't say he's a thief, so just because they gave me a card. It's not a thief. <laughs> the problem is envy. And it's very common in the body of Christ. I envy no one. I don't bother about what anybody's preaching. Whatever you have is your own. I am contented and I envy nobody. Shall, and finally, number nine. I'm sure there's no way you see that you're perfect in all the nine. Except you have changed your name to Jesus Christ, which you can't. <laughs> there must be one. One. Even if you're doing it, you're not complete. True? Maybe you're doing all, but somewhere you're not complete. Are you getting me now? Don't tell me I do all. Oh, it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a for God to say teach this topic. He told me to teach you. It's not something that if it's only me, I'll say the help of God. He has helped me for seven years. He said, "Don't teach. Tell them love your secret for these twenty-seven years." My, he don't know me if you don't know how I love people. You don't know me. Don't say I know Papa. It's a lie. You don't know me. You, I love people to a fault. There are things I do. People around me say. Ah, you did this kind of thing. Why? This person doesn't like you. Why do you? I said, well, get out. What's your business? Is it your business? Are you getting me? I sat with a man of God. He said, sir, I learned love from you. I, I, with you, I'm changing. I was not like this before, but I, you have taught me love that now me too. I want to practice your type. I said, okay, try. I said, but you go read this book because love cannot work without revelation. When one of the challenges will come, you'll be angry. Has somebody offended you before you want to revenge? He said, now I will revenge. <laughs> you don't understand. 
David would have revenged when Saul was to kill him. He said, I understand love. This man is anointed. I'm not going to touch him. Well, number nine, finally, true love is not boastful or proud. True love is not what? Boastful or proud. In verse 5, it is not considered arrogant. In my studies, sometimes what people call boldness is rudeness. They are not bold, they are rude. When you understand love, even when you are talking to somebody who is even a junior person, you will pick your language. You don't say you buffoon. You should know that person is created in the image of God. Love is not boastful. Love is humble. So I hear. Especially when God has lifted you to a point of envy. And junior men, because there are stupid people everywhere. And when stupid people provoke you, that's when you know you understand love, you must speak your language. You are correcting them, but it's what you correct with love. You don't tell them, if, if, if I did not employ you to work with me, who would have employed you? Even husband tell wife, if I did not marry you, who will marry you? Your wife. Then why you go marry him? Say so your father did not, did, they're not born you well. Are you not from a poor home where you don't even have chairs in your parlor? It's when I married you, your father bought first furniture. Ah! You don't understand love. You don't understand. That's why God brought you to cover her nakedness. Love is not boastful. Love is not proud. I saw something. I'm he that given the power to do what? That means the wealth you have, he gave you power to get it. So you cannot come up and say, no, guys, you know, in this time, I'm the wealthiest. God wants us to give him all the glory when we are blessed. He said, I am he that gave the power to get well. So when we are blessed, we should give all the glory. Brag on God, not on yourself. I repeat, brag on who? On God, not on yourself. If you want to brag, brag on God. Don't brag on yourself. Shout hallelujah. Let me say this in closing. God is willing to give his best. Because he has already given. Then why are certain things not happening in your life? Because the missing element is that you don't have true love for people. Faith wouldn't work if love is not working. As powerful as faith, it will never work if love is not working. As you demonstrate these qualities of love, I see you excel in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me round off on this note. You are useless without love. Learn to love unconditionally. Learn to what? Everyone can love. Including you. Follow God's example by loving people. By what? He said the love of God has been shed abroad in our heart. Romans 5.5. 5. Unleash God's power of love in you from now in the name of Jesus. Now, this is what love does. And I want to be very practical and I am done. In Ephesians 3, 17 to 19, this is what love does. <laughs> this is what love, when you begin to walk in love, this is what love does. That Christ may dwell in your house by faith, that you be, be rooted and grounded worth in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. Now look at verse 19. And to know the love of Christ with passage what? You may know all the, read all the books, read everything, you quote scriptures, demonstrate, things happen. You will not be exceptional yet. That you may be filled with the fullness of God. You know what God's saying? When you understand love, you carry God bodily. When you sit, 
You don't pray for miracle, you are a miracle. You emit miracles. You, the secret of every man exceptional is love. 40 days fasting will not make you walk in the supernatural as a man walks in love. I don't struggle for miracles to happen. There's a humbling testimony to that. I will not share it now. I will share it after. Very humbling testimony. Testimony that is an anniversary gift. You will know that God just wants to prove that he is God. Not a gift to salvation ministries by the hand of God. Which I will share in due season. Do not take the next two weeks to hear the details. Very humbling testimony. Very big one. Something that people put their hands and struggle for, it came by the hand of God. Say love. You don't know what you are missing. Even as I'm talking about some people, they are trying to support their heart. In this advice, they say, no. Let Papa preach from now to tomorrow. <laughs> Let him preach anything and like. I don't care about this preaching. You know. I'll go do what I want to. <laughs> That's not how to be a Christian. That's not how to be a Christian. A Christian hears truth and tongues. The difference between Saul and David was they made mistakes, but David had conscience. Saul had no conscience. Saul was telling God, you know, I did this. No, David said, the mistake, I made it. But I'm ready to make a good turn. But Saul was saying, you know, even if you say I should kill, I brought this one now to make sacrifice. God said, that's not what I told you. Walk in love. You will know that he said he's sweet when you walk in love. If you walk in love, he say he dwells in you. He's there. God is what? So if you don't walk in love, God can't stay in you. Can two walk together and say they agreed? God is love. So when you don't walk in love, God can't walk with you. And when you walk in love, he walks in you. You just manifest God with ease. You say, be blessed. The person just get blessed. Be healed. The person get healed. You say, you, things go well. Things go well. You may fast 40 days and be walking in bitterness. There are people who have fasted, not because they are fasting. No. They are fasting because they want to compete with another man of God. So God said, what are we in the competition? He said, now, nah, if this guy is commanding 500,000 people, then when I fast, I'm going to command 1 million. Are we in a competition? I told somebody, I said, I'm in Panagot. That person may be in Akure. What are you bought yourself? We are not in the same city. You are your own city. Why are you bought over what I'm doing here? You to follow your own now. They say, leave what in the right for motor, enter motor. So, <laughs> do you know, people compete. Even in the same parents, they compete. The same father and mother, so compete as if that. What are you competing with? My, our son is in Wari, not so. Pastor Biodi is in Abuja. I'm in Panagot. It's a product. Even product is too big. One man can't buy a product. Only you go fit. It's all compared till I come. It's not you. <laughs> Our fathers, they are in uh, Ogun State, Ota. But my neighbor is in uh, Ogun State, too. I don't know the village they call that one. The detention camp is, in fact, there's no village. The detention camp is the village. <laughs> Kenan Land is the village. Everybody has his own place. Uh, two of them are in the same Ogun state. Is it affecting anybody? No. But some people, by now, Adebo and Adebo would have been quarreling. But they are in the same place. Calm down. Nobody's a threat to you. Walk in love. Walk in what? You see that life will just go like this. I've told you what God told me. He said, tell them your secret. Don't go preach another thing. I've given you the one he told me. My secret is love. This 27 years, this is what I've been working with. Don't think that is too much fasting. You have been fasting too much before you die. Stop. <laughs> you won't die in Jesus' name. Uh, he said, tell them, uh, the thing that is the fasting that's making, no, no, I'm telling you my secret. I walk in love. I, this is my greatest secret. He is the one, only me. What I would have preached is enjoying help of God, if it's me. He said, no, tell them love. Not love for me this time, love for people. Rise to your feet. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You are going to pray one prayer. <laughs> I will give expression 
To love. To what? To love. Everything fighting on my inside not to walk in the reality of love, I come against it. I come what? You will know, you put it to practice. It's not, I preach love, or we all preach love. There's not even the need to preach love. Preaching love is different from practicing. You can preach love, no. People, this is why I preach love. I don't even know Bibles. There are people who preach love like this. You copy note to you, your hand will pain you. Are you getting me now? So it's not a point one, point two philosophy. One philosophy, two is love. It's what? No. I don't preach love, I live love. I can look at somebody around me and I see it's like you're not okay. Something must be wrong with you. You have seen somebody walking with you, not laughing. You should know that something's wrong. Doesn't need to tell you. He said, How are you? He's not smiling. Are you okay? Yes, sir. You should know something's wrong. At that point, you say, Come. What is the problem? And you should know that malaria is worse than malaria. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying there? I can use my eyes to look at my domestic staff. When I see them, I say, no, no, something is wrong with this person. Something is wrong. I saw one one day. I said, what is wrong with you? He had a health challenge, but he, he, he didn't want to talk. I said, something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. My friend, go and do the surgery. There are things to pray. There are things to handle in the hospital. I said, go and do, go and do the surgery. Don't forget it. But I, 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 I can imagine me pretending as if I don't see him. He will, he will be, and he's working for you when you have money. When he, I, he do one thing, he will come clean it. He said, God will heal you eh? in Jesus' name. <laughs> you are going to pray. Anything that makes me not walk in what? Love. I come against it in the name of Go ahead in the name of Jesus. I will walk in love from today in the name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? I will walk in the reality of the truth. Look at the area you missed it. Out of the nine, which area did you miss it? Which area did you miss it in the name of Jesus? Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me say this, Lord, humility. If God has blessed you, giving to people does not reduce people. That you gave to somebody around you does not make you to go down. Don't be stingy. And let me say this. If you are too high and people under you are not close to you, they will leave you. No matter how anointed you are. The reason why they could not identify, differentiate Peter and Jesus was because they, the clothes were almost alike. He said, the only way you recognize him is when I kiss him. That means they were not wearing rags. They were almost wearing the same thing. So he said, you can't identify him because they all look alike. The only way you know him is I will kiss him. But there are places you see the empty here. His next person is here. How can you be using Cadillac and your, your own next person using motorbike? He will stone you. No. There is no pastor of the senior ones who does not have a forerunner. With me, not one. I know that they have one car. They all have cars. They travel. They, they all travel. They all what? I can't be traveling in a year and my pastor will not travel at least once. They may not travel at my pace, but they must travel. True? Because if I keep traveling and all the travel is between Abuja and Lagos, what is okay? <laughs> so you not let you will know you will land. We will. <laughs> I don't preach love, oh, I leave it. If, I, if a pastor says he wants to go, the wife will call him and say, it sure say God call you. In this place, the wife will say, think well, oh. think well. 
<laughs> now God they speak to you. Oh, now you they speak to yourself. <laughs> because I don't preach love. I'm not preaching it. Though. This is what I live. This is what I live. There are things they will tell you because of time. One that I just did during the hardship time, you know, everything went up in Nigeria. I just said, like, I said, no, everything has gone up. If this boy has still earning the same salary, there's no way some of them will not faint by the way. I just came and said, finance and all administrative staff calculate from the least staff to the rest, add something to their salary in the midst of hardship. No, no, what, they could not believe this. What kind of person is this? So one of them says, I know we die quick, go. <laughs> because then, <laughs> so, make, so somebody who will get your nature take over from you. He said, before you leave, God will raise somebody who have your nature. He said, because if you won't die quick, say, your nature must rub on somebody who will care for people before you go. The, that, do you know staff were shocked? I said, give every staff because things are getting tough. Everybody knew the price of things went up. So if they end the same salary, they will be under pressure. And once it's under pressure, the best thing won't come out. I don't mean money determines loyalty, but at the same time, money has effect. If God has blessed the work, if God has what? Money shouldn't be your yardstick for working, but at the same time, money has a role to play. I'm comfortable by my level of life, but some of them, they depend totally on their salaries. No matter what you preach, they don't know how to give, so. so you must not leave them to die like that. Is that true? May this thing inside this man rub on you. In the name of Jesus. Before I make altar call, I want your heart to open. What do you love with this commission that God has done? <laughs> I'm going to pray. Is there anything God has done you love here? You'll get it. Touch the king. We get properties as somebody gets sweet. This church gets properties like sweet. Like what? By favor. By favor. You saw the property of Alabama? That property is multi-million dollars property. The insurance of that property is seven million dollars. Insurance. That is the most, the strongest building in that area. Strongest. It's a bomb protective building. They build it as a place where if there's war, people should go and stay. The walls are cast. They are not cement. They are cast. You can't, you can't hit the wall and it falls. Their people did not take even tissue out of that place. They gave it to us free. Are you getting what I'm saying? <laughs> and I didn't know them until after they gave us, before we went to meet them. And we have testimony again even today. Big one. We keep, keep having testimonies. Keep having what? We land here is like water. Now, let me tell you where it came from. I saw a devil, he got land. I saw a devil, got got land. And I rejoiced with them. We just get land. We don't struggle. Do you like it? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. He said they got the land not by their own strength. The arm of God favor them. Everyone that believes the next property will come by favor. Yes. Yes, you have built estates, but it's not enough. Can't you build more? The ones who have estates everywhere, are they different? Now I declare, everyone who is a part of this anniversary, you will not struggle to have properties. I declare any part of the world, after this anniversary, before you come next year, properties will be like water to you in the name of Jesus. I saw where God has shown so much grace upon my mentor, Edebo, and I love it. I discover love makes you love whatever somebody you love Lord, has. It doesn't struggle for projects to be executed. No struggle. You just, you just, you see with your eyes that millions and billions are in. No stress. I said, I love this. And with all humility before God, same thing is happening to us. Now to everyone from today, the last loan you took will be the last name of Jesus. 
you will not need a loan to execute the project in the name of Jesus. He says, Saul also amongst the what? Prophets. So there's an anointing when you celebrate with people. Is that true, sir? Now in the name of Jesus, if we are not under any pressure financially, pressure ends in your life. If you think it does not work, look at this young man. He says, sir, I love this anointing on your life. And you see him swimming in the same anointing. Went to Beardo's church in Abuja, Koza. Beardo was not in the miraculous before. He had some preaching with young people. And I got there. And the Holy Ghost said to me, pray for him. That thing you carry, he wants it. And he opened his heart. He said that Sunday after I left was the first Sunday he saw incredible miracles. He preaches his, uh, you know, that kind of young preaching before. He said, miracle, raw miracles, raw with ease. If you think anointing is not contagious, everyone whose heart is open, you don't have to be a pastor. I decree wherever you are in any part of the world, this oil upon this commission and upon my life, rub on you in the name of Jesus. in this place. He said, I love the way God, you are doing it here. That's why he came to celebrate. That good thing you have more in the name of Jesus. <laughs> now listen. God sees my heart. I don't wish you to be less than me. No. No. I don't wish you to be less than me. That's not love. Love is that you should see something greater. Whatever testimony we have ever shared you love, may God do bigger things in your life. Because of this celebration, I declare no matter the disease, no matter the plague, I command it to end in your life. Everyone come barren before this time next year. You are with your children in the name of Jesus. Everyone who is I desire to marry before next anniversary, you are married in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing that is good, he said, No good thing will you withhold. He said, God will not withhold anything good from you. Anything good, salvation means his heart that you love, receive your own in the name of Jesus. Everyone close to us, Maxwell, Biodo, KK, everyone is into construction, big, big places. I'm close to the poor. We are close to the same father. I can say now, this family is a family of big things. When we want to build, no small building, big building. Now, from this day, smallness has ended in your life. Smallness has ended in your life. Smallness has ended in your life. God sees my heart. I can say it now. I only my wife and people around me knew. I told them, I said, this time I will not preach like other ones. I will prepare heavily. I'll be fasting throughout the week. Before I invested me, I just fast for that day. I said, Lord, I don't want your people to come and go back the same way. Now I can tell you because. Are you guys now? Now, in the name of Jesus, whatever is your desire in this anniversary, I declare granted now. As we are celebrating, may you also have reason to celebrate. You will dance in the open in the name of Jesus. Your celebration has started. You will never have any reason to regret in the name of Jesus. Even the things 
I can't, I did not say from my heart. God, bless you in the name of Jesus. God, bless you in the name of Jesus. God, bless you in the name of Jesus. No matter the disease, it must live. No matter the terminal plague, it must go. I command deaf ears open in the name of Jesus. I command dumb tongues loose in the name of Jesus. I cause that cancer in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. The Holy Ghost is letting me to do something. From today, may favor become your identity. He said to me, you don't lack favor all over the world. Pray for my people. From my heart. There's no nation you step your foot onto where men and women will not honor you with favor. From this meeting, favor will become your identity. In the name of Jesus. Everyone owing a decree miracle death cancellation. The Lord bless you beyond any imagination of man. In the midst of hardship, you will have reason to laugh. Your greatest testimonies will come this season. Before this time, 2025, your testimony will be in catalogs. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Now I give you one minute. What is it you want? You open your mouth and say it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say it. Go ahead and say it. What is it that you want? Go ahead and tell God. Say it from your heart. Tell him. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. I heard God say to me, somebody who had an abandoned project, watch what will happen. Because of this meeting, that project will finish it with a record speed. In the name of Jesus. Remember, you can't walk in love except you have love himself in you. Until Jesus comes into you, you can't walk in love. Human love can turn to hatred overnight. To have the love of God, you must be born again. Wherever you are, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Offer these prayers loud and clear on this special day after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that simple prayers, Please don't sit with others. Keep standing while others take their seats. Attend to everyone standing. God bless you. On this anniversary day, if it's your first day to fellowship with us on this special day, kindly stand also. want to welcome you. It is your first day to be with us. On behalf of the head of the church, Jesus Christ, whom you have come to honor, I want to say to everyone standing, we love you, we celebrate you. Because you have come to be a part of this wonderful family, your life will never remain the same. Those around there tell that we bless you, give them a warm handshake and celebrate them. God bless you. Give thanks to God for his word.
Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Oh my God, what a word from heaven. Shall we celebrate him? Hallelujah. It's offering time. Let's package our seed, our tithe, our offerings. It's been 27 years of grace, 27 years of help. And one of the most outstanding manifestation of his grace upon salvation ministries and up, upon our father is wealth and prosperity. Somebody shout with me, wealth and prosperity. <laughs> if you have a seed, there is no battle you can win. If you have a seed, there is no curse you can break. If you have a seed, there is no war you can win. If you have a seed, there is no height you can attain. I have two minutes to share this testimony while we package our seed. Coming for Glory Rain 2024, uh, our second twin was in the hospital. And thank God for Papa Ibiome, always on the phone with them every day. Mama Ibiome praying, our father Bishop Wedep also in Lagos praying. Then I came for glory rain as I was coming into Poracourt. That Monday, I came straight to the house and I saw Papa. I knelt down before him and I said, Daddy, Daniel is in the hospital, not dying in Jesus' name. And then I said, he's 16 years and this is 16 million. One million naira redemption seed per year. We are not buying grace. We are not buying miracle. There is something about a seed. I knelt down before Papa and I said, this is 16 million. He took it. He blessed it. He now said, KK, I prayed for Daniel yesterday. Even me, God told me to sacrifice for him. So yesterday, I gave millions for Daniel. He said, you know, this 60 million, he gave it back to me. He said, so it, so it will be like 32 million. Within that week, I gave about 74 million. Emptied myself. <laughs> Don't say, hey, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in a particular stagnation under this grace for 27 years, let me just take this one minute. Has it not occurred to you that when people are wealthy, they investigate their wealth? If you have one billion dollar today, people will say, investigate, investigate. Where did you get it? Has it not occurred to you that people don't investigate poverty? <laughs> people don't investigate it. Why is it that people don't investigate your poverty? It is your responsibility. You are the one to know why you are poor. <laughs> Listen, as I, by Tuesday, glory reign. Satan descended. We finished glory reign. Tuesday, I got home here, and then they called me. It's on oxygen. It was going. So I called Papa, I, things like that. By the second day, if our papa told me, we are moving him with air ambulance, 39 million. Because he can die any moment. It was, and the jet to move him from Wari to Lagos. It can be, it must be air ambulance, 39 million. Papa paid. Papa said, you are with me. Forget it. I was about to pay. He said, don't pay. They moved Daniel to Lagos. As, as they took him, within one week, they said, kidney has gone. Liver is gone. Spleen is gone. Water is in his heart. His heart is enlarged. They also saw a tumor. They suspect cancer. He was pooing blood. We were face to face with death. We were face to face with death. But when there is seed. I remember, I can't forget. Thank you, sir. Papa told me that night, all prayers in salvation stopped. Overnight, all prayer warriors faced Daniel Kumaya. The following morning, they called me. The, what is happening? Doctors came. They said, the water we saw in the heart has disappeared. <laughs> the following day, they said, what is happening? The kidney has picked up. 
the following day, they said, we don't understand what is happening here. Discipline is normalized. Exactly a week, a dead child practically was discharged. If you have a seed, your siege can be terminated. Lift up your offerings. Lift up your offerings. Speak a word, speak a word, speak a word, speak a word. Father, we bless your name. We say thank you. We give you all the glory. Victory from victory. Thank you for these 27 years. We partake more of this grace in Jesus' precious name. Drop your seed and the siege is over. sharing his story, I almost wept because I know what God did. It was a case of Lazarus back to life. Everybody was involved. Our father was involved. Everybody was involved. That's why I don't ever try to stand alone. Nobody knew but the place was where everybody, Bishop Edipo had to send his wife to the hospital. Amor Edipo was in the hospital. You must learn how to walk in love. No matter how anointed, they can't stay alone. Are you hearing me now? Just imagine if he was alone. Everywhere, everybody was saying, no, this can't happen. This can't happen. How the boy came back tonight is a mystery. To God we give all. Amen. Next seven minutes, we are going to praise God. All the men on the altar, I don't know whether it can take here, the senior men at least should come to the altar. So we can dance to say to God, thank you. Don't go, that is a prophetic dance. As you're dancing today, that's how you dance throughout this year. Amen. Till April 13th next year. Amen. We are going to praise God for seven minutes. Just telling God we are grateful. Then you, where you are, just dance. Are you getting me now? After the dancing, we'll close, but let's pray one prayer so we don't pray again after the dancing. You pray that everybody who came for this anniversary must go back safely. Hey, let us see. Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Cover everyone who is going back. Blood!
blood of Jesus be seen over everyone. Everybody will go back safely. In Jesus' mind in hand. Want to say to all the men of God and women of God, God bless you, sir. You know, Saturday, you don't pull people out. It's love. This love I just preach. It's love that makes someone leave your own to be part. I told KK, I said, KK, tomorrow is Sunday. He said, don't worry, I'm coming. That means if it's tomorrow Sunday, he is. For everybody, mark it. Even if you are not at your altar tomorrow, it will show. The church will grow in your absence more than before. Yeah. Whatever you have made happen for us, God make it happen for you. Yeah. Every man of God, woman of God who has left one thing or the other to be part of this meeting, you will return back with testimonies. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Anything that has to do with us is crowd. It's known. And it's from the lineage. Crowd. There's nothing we do that you won't see crowd. That is out from today. All the ministers, I decree the same effect in the name of Jesus. The Lord from heaven knows our heart. Whatever you love in us, it will happen in your life. So you two that left one thing or the other, Saturday you maybe were supposed to watch football, you are here. God will bless you mightily. Whatever you left to honor God, will bring honor to your life. It's as if I, I should pour my... God says, I don't know what to pray. Everything inside me bless you. Amen. The things my mouth can't say bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We just praise God. We are thanking God especially tomorrow in all the four services. We still free dressing. In the first service, we are going to say to God, thank you from the first to the fourth. So invite your friends and well wishers to be a part of the thanksgiving. It's better to always end with thanksgiving. All our churches... Praise God for seven minutes. Please, men of God and women of God on the altar. The altar. Don't worry. By God's grace, when we get to the cathedral, the altar will be bigger. Amen. This one. Let's manage it like that. Amen. You can come forward. Let's praise God. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
I hear this. Hold it. Hold it. There's one grace that God gave to me. I hear God as a man hears his friend. The morning brought the handkerchief, he said, That is a celebration handkerchief. <laughs> now listen. If I hear God, that material will be a material of signs and wonders. I won't pray long prayer. I won't pray what? I hear God. The three of you on the altar, come out. I want one of you with material. Just anybody with material. Just bring your own. Anybody, two. Just come. Try to take this material. You'll be able to take it as I hear God. Just try to take it from him. Another person come to take any of them. If it's my own, he says it's my own. Try to take it from you. Everyone with any handkerchief in your hand, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, that material becomes a celebration miracle material. God spoke to me. He said, by this praise, everyone handling material in your hand, it will be the highest material for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. What took us 27 years? In seven months, you will achieve it in the name of Jesus. Anywhere this material appears, there will be supernatural speed for accomplishment. In the name of Jesus. Incredible miracles will be wrought by the leading of the Holy Ghost. You will not struggle. You will see results. This material is a special celebration material for special signs and wonders. Dead will rise. The cripple will walk. What would have taken you the next 27 years would take you seven weeks. In seven weeks, you will achieve what took us to the seven years. Let it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now use it for yourself first before anybody in the name of Jesus. Speak over your life. You'll be the first partaker. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. You just write on it celebration mantle. Celebration what? And watch what will happen with this material. I heard him say, the way they lifted, that's how they'll be celebrating. He saw power on it without me praying. Where you appear, power will appear. Thank you, Father. Let us thank you for everything. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Not to pray again. Anything remaining, God give you. And your heart is done. The grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet flow of the Holy Spirit, rest now by with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Look at two, three people and say them congratulations.